Installing the Horizon View Agent on the Virtual Machine. Let's begin. You know, I was thinking to myself, self, before we install the Horizon View Agent, we probably should talk about the reason we use it. So in vCenter, in vSphere, we have, for example, our virtual machines that are going to be used as desktops in our VDI, our virtual desktop infrastructure. And the big picture is this. These computers out here, they're going to be running the Horizon View client. They're going to connect over to a connection server to see which resources are available, and then they'll get connected to a virtual machine based on what they're entitled to use. Now, the Horizon View agent comes into play on each of these virtual machines that are going to be the remote desktops. So what you and I are going to want to do is make sure we have the agent, the Horizon View agent, installed on any of these virtual machines that we're going to use as resources as part of VDI. So there's two big parts to this. One is we need to have a virtual machine that's going to be our perfect, if you will, or an acceptable candidate as a virtual desktop. And regarding the preparation for that machine, for example, if it's Windows 7 or Windows 8, there is just a, a boatload of nerd knobs and tweaks that we should or could do to help assist that machine be lean and mean and operate well in a VDI environment. And it is fairly unrealistic for the average mortal to remember all the details regarding the optimization of the virtual machine that's going to be used. And that's why we have lots of really great resources, like this document, and many like it. This is the optimization guide for Windows 7 and Windows 8. And as Windows 10 rolls out, I'm sure they're going to have an optimization guide for Windows 10 as well. So in this document, let me make this a little bit bigger. As we look at the table of contents, this is like 30 plus pages long. And it refers to resources that we might use to help get a desktop ready. For example, the MDT, the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. And specifics on creating an optimized Windows image. And let's talk about for a moment an example of a setting that we might want to make sure is set a certain way. For example, hibernation or sleeping. If we have a virtual machine running in vSphere and it goes to sleep or it hibernates and it's not able to be woken up, that would be a bad setting for a virtual machine as part of VDI. That reminds me of a commercial for the Roach Motel, a commercial back from the 80s and 90s, where it said roaches check in, but they never check out. Well, this is where a virtual machine, if it goes to sleep, may never wake up. And as a result, if it's sleeping or it's hibernating and it can't be woken up, that machine isn't going to act as a very good resource for users who want to connect to it through the VDI. So this document and ones like it in the future are a great resource to go through as your Windows administrator is preparing a machine to be used as a remote desktop for the users through Horizon View. And because I'm all about saving lots of time, I want to share with you a tool called the VMware OS Optimization Tool that you can download. You can run it on your VM. That's the candidate to be used for your virtual desktop infrastructure with Horizon View. And the optimization tool can analyze, make recommendations, and make changes. So what might have taken hours to do can be done in just a few clicks. So here inside of vSphere, I've got a virtual machine. It's in a resource pool called View Desktops, and its name is VM01. And for training on how to create a resource pool and how they operate, or how to create a VM and how to work with templates, all that great training is included as part of our VCP course right here at CBT Nuggets. So let's open up a console to this virtual machine. I'm going to use this link right here called Launch Console. I'm going to press Control-Alt-Insert to go ahead and log in. As we do the prep work, we want to make sure that this is a member of the domain. So I'm going to log on as Domain Administrator. And that does two things for us. Number one, first of all, it verifies that our membership in the domain is active. And I'm not logging in as Bob or Sally or Billy or any of the other users because I don't want to mess with the profile information for those users if they are going to log on to this system. I also want to point out right down here that I downloaded an evaluation from Microsoft for Windows 8.1 Enterprise. And they gave me a 90-day eval. Which is great, because in preparing for this, I was burning through licenses like nobody's business. And that's when I realized there's got to be a better way. And that better way is to get an evaluation license. So as we look at all the pieces, you can get Horizon View, the evaluation from that from VMware. You can get the Windows 8.1 Enterprise Licenses eval from Microsoft. And that gives you and I the ability to add on Horizon View to an existing vSphere infrastructure to practice and work with it. So here on this virtual machine called VM-01, I've downloaded the OS optimization tool, and then you can just run it right from there. And it's got four tabs across the top. In the top left, we have Analyze. It comes with several templates, the Master Template, Windows 7 and 8, and Windows 2008 to 2012. And by using the Templates tab, we can go ahead and manipulate and customize templates if we want to. But if we go back to Analyze, 
and we click on, for example, Windows 8, and then we click on the Analyze button in the bottom of the hand corner, and then click on Analyze, it's going to go through and identify dozens and dozens of items that should be set for the benefit of optimizing this virtual machine before we deploy it as a resource available through Horizon View. So we could scroll down this list and take a look at all the details. And then to apply the recommendations, we simply click on the Optimize button and that would apply them for us. And up here on the right, we have an analysis summary. Out of all the items it looked at, 86 are currently set as far as being optimized and 12 are not. And you might say, Keith, how is it that this virtual machine has so many features already optimized? And the answer to that is because previously, a couple of versions of this machine ago, I ran the optimization tool. And this tool alone will save you hours of time implementing changes that you want to to optimize the VM. So because that work is already done, or at least most of it is, I'm going to go ahead and close the optimization tool. And let's get right to installing the Horizon View agent on this virtual machine. Now to do that, of course, we need the software. And because this machine is already a member of the domain, and I have a share on the domain controller with the agent files, we can go ahead and grab those files off of that share. And we'll go out to AD-RDS, and there's a share called Horizon Files, and we'll select that. And in this shared folder, I've got a file called the VMware View Agent. That's the 64-bit flavor. They also have a 32-bit flavor. So I'll drag that to the desktop. It's copying over. And then we'll simply double-click on the install for the agent to install the agent. So we'll click on Next to continue. We'll accept all the terms of the license agreement. We'll click on Next. We could deselect some of these features if we don't need them in our environment. I'm going to go ahead and accept the defaults and click on Next, and then click on Install. And the install is done. Due to the magic of editing, it happened a little faster than real time. And we'll click on Finish. And now it's prompting us saying you need to restart. And let's go ahead and click on Yes to allow it to reboot this computer. And when I say this computer, I mean this virtual machine called VM-01. So I wanted to go to this topology just for a moment and make sure we're on the same sheet of music. This machine, let's say it's VM-01. And that's the virtual machine that's been optimized and we just installed the VMware Horizon agent on. As part of being in our Windows domain, it should also have a DNS entry. So now, sitting here at the connection server, just to verify everything's working, we should be able to ping VM-01 based on its name to verify a DNS resolution. And we should be able to connect via remote desktop to that virtual machine. And that's again just a sanity check that DNS is working and that remote access into this machine is also working. So let's go back to the connection server and let's launch remote desktop and connect to that virtual machine. So here at the connection server, we'll launch remote desktop. We'll put in the host of vm-01.nuglab.local and we'll click on connect. Now, because it's prompting us for credentials, that's a great sign that the DNS worked. If we didn't get prompted for credentials, we might want to drop to a command prompt and do a ping over to that name just to see if the DNS resolution is working or not. So we'll log on as the domain administrator. And that's the user account that we logged on just a few minutes ago directly on that virtual machine where we installed the agent. And then we'll click on OK. And now we're connected through remote desktop to that VM. And there's our agent software install that we copied to the desktop of that VM that just adds to the confirmation that we're at the right place. So now that we know that works, we'll go ahead and simply log off of our remote desktop session. And that takes us back to the connection server. And we can log out of the connection server as well. In this nugget, we identified a virtual machine that we're going to use as part of Horizon View. We looked at a tool called the VMware OS optimization tool that can help us optimize that system for use as part of our virtual desktop infrastructure. We installed the Horizon View agent on that virtual machine. And then we also verified that machine is willing to accept remote connections. And we tested that by using remote desktop to that virtual machine. I appreciate you joining me for this nugget. I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.